Hey everyone, how's it going? Back with Farmers 13 and today we're going to show you a complete guide on how to get the Treasure Hunter achievement. So I'm going to go over all the missables and I'm going to show you all the menuing and hopefully show you as little resources as possible to upgrade everything. Alright, so we're going to try and do this as fast as possible but this is going to be a complete grind and uh, this isn't going to be entertaining at all because it's mainly just going to be menuing. But I'm going to show you how to do upgrade everything and get the achievement. So first off, uh, I've basically done everything in the game at this point except upgrades. I haven't upgraded, I haven't bought anything. These are all the items that I got uh, from just playing the game naturally. All the chests and all the hunts has given me all these items over the course of the game. The only thing I did upgrade just to make my life a little bit easier is just make a extra tiara because um, I needed three of those to fight the Adamantois and Longweeps uh, much easier. Uh, that's all I did. Everything else is just base level 1 stuff that you get naturally over the course of the game, either by chess or hunts. Uh, same with weapons, you get all the weapons through uh, natural progression if you check every chest. But don't worry if you didn't get every weapon because you can buy them. You can buy them. And there is a weapon for everybody in the store that you have to buy and upgrade it to at least tier 2 as well. So with that in mind, uh, let's get on the video. Let's talk about the Mistables first, so I'll kick it back to past me, back like probably a month ago, and uh, we'll go from there in a bit. In the late half of Chapter 3, in the Forgotten Commons, right in this area, uh, you'll find a Spark Ring, which is missable. And there's only a certain amount in the game. I think this is like the only one. There might be a second one. I can't remember. In chapter 4, uh, kind of midway through when you were with Saz, Vanille, and Lightning. Uh, here in the Vile Peaks and Devastated Dreams. Uh, you'll fight these um, Pulse Work people. And in this chest, it's missable. Is the Ember Ring. Once again, do not sell this. Alright, still in Chapter 4, uh, you have a second chance at a Spark Ring here. So if you missed it in Chapter 3, you get a second one, get a second chance here in Chapter 4, uh, when you're just with Hope uh, about halfway through, just before you fight Odin. Uh, just right here in the Scavenger's Trial. So you have a second chance at a Spark Ring, so... Um, but please, don't... Don't uh, sell it until you definitely know you are done with the item. Alright, so still in Chapter 4, uh, after you beat Odin, you now uh, with Saz and Vanille before you do this uh, whatever the fuck it is in the middle. I can't remember. It's been like five years since I played this game. Um, you open this chest in the Vile Peak Scrap Processing, and guess what? The game gives you yet another Ember Ring. So, you get two in the same chapter, you get a Spark Ring in the same chapter, and you get a Spark Ring in the last chapter. So, as long as you don't sell your shit, you shouldn't lose this achievement, but that's why I'm here. Alright, in Chapter 6, when you're with Vanille and Saz, um, in this Sunlift Waterscape, did I say that right? Probably not. Um, you'll be at this chest here, it is missable in the Rain Spot Valve, let's um, it's a long way off from the save point, actually. It's like halfway, and then there's another save point down here before the boss. But in this chest lurks a Aqua Ring. This is missable, so make sure you get it. I'm not 100% sure if there's a second one, but like uh, there was the Ember and Spark Ring, but please don't miss this. Alright, here in Chapter 7... Uh, with your, when you're with Light and Hope in the, like, sewage underground thing, the Nultra Culture Complex, you come to this, uh, sort of part where you use an elevator to go to the right. But if you activate this thing first, you will actually make the elevator go to the left. And to the left, there is a fight 
but it guards an aqua ring. And this is missable, so you do not want to miss this. Uh, unfortunately, this fight is kind of obnoxious, because you have to fight this shell thing, and usually you're not really... Uh, unfortunately, this shell thing isn't as strong as the one in the last chapter with uh, Saz of Vanille, so it should be too difficult. Especially since Hope has um, Protected Shell you, you can cast. So we're going to try and kill off this flan as quickly as possible, and then we'll um, take care of this dude. I think I've actually done it wrong, actually. I feel like Hope's about to die. Doesn't have, uh, yeah, he's going to die. He is so going to die. <laughs> Whoops. On your feet. Phoenix is Phoenix down to four. Ow. And also, light has the doctor's code, so I can just uh, get 300 HP for free instead of 150. God damn it! Follow my lead. Here, come on, light. I probably shouldn't sh for, uh, show this fight, but just in case you guys struggle with this fight, I'm going to show it. Um, you can also decept this fight, so you can probably have a much easier time. Let's go to triple rab, uh, triple rab, double rab, so I can um, do shit faster. The sooner this guy gets staggered, the better. Staggered, and now we win pretty much. All right. Not a hard fight, but it's very obnoxious. And it's in this chest right here that has the aqua ring. So let me just show you on the map again, even though it's kind of weird with the elevator how this place works but yeah and this chest doesn't contain anything useful well do you believe in fur chances because this game does in chapter 9 we're going to skip to chapter 9 because there's nothing in chapter 8 uh when you're on the palamecia in the crew corridors we have a second no a third shot at, at an ember ring and just for video's sake, and to make this as fast as possible, we're just gonna skip all these enemies with Deceptor Soul. Just, just to speed up the video. Um, this item is not the uh, Ember Ring, but you might want to pick it up anyway, because it is a weapon of the light. Um, I'm not gonna show off every single weapon uh, pickup, because I'm pretty sure you can uh, buy every single weapon in the game. Uh, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm almost 100% sure you can buy every single weapon. But here we go. Here's our third Ember Ring, dude. And so, you should, if you're not missing chests, you shouldn't have a problem as long as you don't sell this shit. Stick into ch uh, Chapter 9 and the Palamecia when you're outside. Uh, this is kind of near the end of um, Chapter 9, but not quite. Uh, so when you're in the Starboard Weather Deck, uh, the next item. We're going to use Decept again just to speed up the video because we don't want to fight anything that uh, more than I have to for video's purpose. We're going to go into this uh, corner here and unfortunately you are going to um, have to f fight the these guys because they're guarding the item. Um, but it isn't that hard of a fight. I'm going to cut it out. And once you've for those four dragoons, you will get yet another spark ring. Once again, if you don't sell these things, you should not have a problem with getting this achievement. All right, in chapter 11, uh, you can get these at any time because they're not missable because you come back here in chapter 13 because this is your uh, open world map area, <laughs> as you guys should know. 
So we're gonna hop on our chocobo. We're gonna go around the world a little bit, like this uh, central expanse, because there's a a lot of items that I want to cover. That's a, a one-time item. It's not missable, but it's a one-time item. I'm not gonna worry about uh, picking up the uh, treasure. Maybe a gold nugget I missed out on, but who cares? For video purposes. We're gonna go around the world and kill a couple of things because they're guarding treasure and these are very much needed for the um, treasure hunts for achievement. So I'm gonna kill these guys off screen unless I kill them in literally two seconds. Alright, so here on the map in the central expanse, uh, protected by some flans, we get da -da -da -da, the lightning charm. This does evolve into a Thunder Ring if you uh, dismantle it once it's a star level. Or you can turn it into a 20-sided dice, which is needed for the achievement as well. Our next item that was um, guarded by some uh, little creatures who die very, very fast. So from the Lightning Charm to just up to the left a little bit in the Central Expanse, we get yet another item. The Wind Charm. Once again, this turns into the Wind Ring once you uh, dismantle it, once it's a star level. Alright, our next item here, still in the uh, central area, well, it's now the Eastern Tours, it just went up a little bit into this corner. Uh, you fight, you'll fight a shell thing with those three little midget guys who cast a lot of magic. And the Earth Charm is here, and this turns into the Earth Ring once you um, dismantle it once it's a star level. Our next item is here in the Central Expanse, um, near the pond area, but up from up from the teleport sphere up to here, if that makes sense. It's near. You can see it on the map. <laughs> I'm bad at explaining, but. Here's our next item. It was guarded by two, uh, four of those little uh, magic dudes. And this ring is our first wind ring. This is your first one you find in the game, so don't worry about if, you've, if you're missing a wind ring or a clay ring. We are going to find them in this area, so don't worry about that. Alright, here in the font area, font of Na Namva, is I, did I say that right? Probably not. Um, protected by those fish dragon thingies, they're really annoying enemies if you're underleveled, but here we go, we get the water charm. Once again, uh, the charms uh, turn into the first versions of their rings, so that in this case it'll be our first water, uh, like water aqua ring, once it's a star level. Alright, our next chest is right here in the western beachlands. It's still in the central area of the Archerlight Step. But here on the map in the western side, you'll find this chest. And this chest contains an Ice Charm. There's actually two of those. We're going to get the second one in a minute. But our next item, which is just down here... Uh, I'm probably not going to cut this uh, fight out because it's probably going to take mere seconds. Because I am over leveled at this point, there's only two of them. If I had first strike, it would be over already. But... As if there was any doubt. Seven seconds, and if, if I had a preemptive, it would have been a lot faster, but well. Anyway, this item contains the fire charm, so that should be all the charms, right? Let me just, uh, double check. Oh, why would- why did I go to remove? I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> so we have the fire, ice, water, earth, wind, and lightning charm. That's all the charms in the game. Uh, one of each. There's actually two ice charms you can get, we'll talk about that in a second. And we need to upgrade at least one of these charms to a 20-sided dice. But that's okay. But we're still not done with the central uh, area just yet. We got one more item to talk about, which isn't the ice charm, by the way. 
Alright, on a chocobo, you're gonna need a chocobo to get this next item. Uh, we're gonna go all the way over here, and this is where you'd spawn the cactuars, by the way. You actually need to spawn the cactuars to uh, unlock the hunt for the giant cactuar, but... Um, actually, no, I'm not gonna talk about that later, because I've actually made a video for that already. Uh, this is for grabbing all the items. Oh wow, another item? Is it? It literally over here. It really is as well. Alright, let's see if I can get a gold nugget on screen. Ah, gold dust. Not, not as good, but still good enough, I guess. Uh, anyway, this chest here, on the eastern tours, you need a chocobo to get over here. And there is a hunt over here as well, but that's, um, that's not really important right now. And this chest contains the clay ring, and this means this is our, um, earth ring of the game. I think there's another one, I could be wrong, in the game. I'm pretty sure there's a second one somewhere. But yeah, that is all. That's all the items in the Central Expanse noteworthy that uh, you really need to collect, especially especially the charms. And now we'll talk about the other items. Started. All right. So in Mahabara, did I say that right? Probably not. <laughs> um, so like halfway through. Like, you, you start here and you go all the way around. Uh, this is sort of like on the story path. I didn't get this item um, on my first playthrough, or my first run through for this reason, because I wanted to show it on screen. Um, hopefully, I've shown a good, um, a good enough layout. But here's your second ice charm. I think the only purpose of having the second ice charm here is to get a 20 sided dice. Uh, for free, pretty much, and then the other charms. If you somehow missed out on every single ring in, in existence of this game, uh, you can turn each and every charm to its into a ring by leveling up to a star and then dismantling it. And then you can get um, you can level up the rings that way. So the game gives you good enough opportunity to get all the rings. Alright, so our final items I want to talk about in Chapter 11 is in the Tajin Tower. So here on the fourth floor, there's two items I've already picked up, but there's one to the left that I'm going to now that I purposely didn't pick up, because that's one of the items I want to talk about. And fortunately, it's just a quick ride up to the fourth floor. Um, you, you probably already have this item, because it, it's not very missable, but I want to show it off anyway. This is your Gale Ring. This is your. This is actually a. Uh, this Gale Ring is actually a uh, upgraded version of the Wind Ring uh, from earlier. Uh, from this, so you only need to upgrade the Gale Ring into its final form, and then you don't have to worry about the Gale Ring anymore. And then our final item is on the sixth floor. And if you, I assume you probably already got this item as well, because it's not very hard to miss. But I want to show it off anyway. And it's a quick ride up to the sixth floor. Well, I say a quick ride, but I can, you can't skip the cutscene, which is really obnoxious. So you gotta watch the fucking elevator go up. <laughs> so maybe I should cut this out, but for video purposes, I'm not going to, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> And this is live commentary as well as I'm going, so... Now if we go this way... Um, I might wanna... Nah, I'll be fine. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I was thinking about it, maybe I should just set, but his fat fucking space ass was in the way. God damn it! <laughs> uh, it's okay, you can quit out of encounters very, very fast, fortunately. I am going to set for my own sanity this time around. 
And our final item on the sixth floor in this room right here. Uh, this is the room where you go up to the seventh floor, the final floor, whatever it is. And then uh, this item right here is your second clay ring. Clay rings are very useful against adamantoises, so make sure you pick okay, them. Okay, the next items I want to talk about are in chapter 12. Uh, it's in the Siren Park area. Um, this is missable because if you advance too far, you can't come back here, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I'm pretty sure once you advance too far in the story in Chapter 12, you can't go back. And there's a lot of uh, frame drops during this area, apparently, on the PC version. Uh, so our first item uh, from the save point, uh, just go here. And this this item contains da, 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 the two, not just one, two blaze rings. Okay, all right, game. <laughs> I was not ready for that to be honest. <laughs> two blaze rings. So uh, that's like the upgraded version of the bait T1 fire ring. And there's so much frame drops. Why is this game so bad on PC right now? Okay, so I'm gonna decept here, and I'm gonna run around these, uh, dumb fish dragon thingies. Uh, I'm not gonna fight these dudes, because there's no point. I'm just here for the items, and there's so much frame drops, it's unreal. And our final item, if you just follow the path I did, uh, right here in Sirens Park, uh, you get... Da -da -da -da, the Champion's Badge, which is upgraded from the Gold Watch from Mission 64. Um, so, if you do miss this item, you can get it again by completing Mission 64, but then you'd have to upgrade the Gold Watch and all those shenanigans, so... I recommend just not doing all that. Alright, in Chapter 13 in Orphan's Cradle, there's one more item I want to talk about, and it's right at the start of Orphan's Cradle. Um, I want to show exactly where I go for this because this is missable and, and um, once you talk to these goddesses they um, warp the area and um, once you talk to them there's no going back so all these chests are completely missable um, I forget what's in this one but I don't think there's anything that important yeah, I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for myself. We're gonna decept and just run past everything because there is no need to fight here, especially since I'm doing a guide. Uh, hopefully your big fat ass is out of the way. It is indeed. Uh, that chest right there is two Age of Souls. You might want to pick that up because it's useful. Um, do you have to fight these guys? No, you don't. No, you don't. As long as you have a Decept, you can skip them. And up here, your reward. Our final ring that is missable, although you get this in Chapter 11 anyway, is da -da -da -da, another Gale Ring. So you get two Gale Rings and a Zephyr Ring. So all you gotta do is upgrade one Gale Ring to uh, the next level, and you'll have all the Wind Rings. And there's all the missable rings in Final Fantasy XIII. Now, back to the guide. Okay, so that's all the missables out of the way, so now it's time to uh, get on with the show and upgrade and stuff. So, first off, don't sell anything unless you know you are done with it. So, with that in mind, let's get on with uh, selling some certain stuff, like components. Uh, I'm actually going to be selling all my uh, ingredients, except all the big stuff that I know I'm going to be using. Uh, other worldly bone I'm going to keep because we're going to buy those. But you can simply buy those. Uh, you can simply just buy those. So I'm not worried about that.
Okay, so I've slowed things down now, because um, I've done a lot of grinding off-screen, and basically I have a uh, dick ton of plats and gold nugs to sell. So, I should have enough money to do this, but um, if I don't, that's okay, because I can just sell any weapons or accessories that I'm not going to use. So, basically, only... Uh, only sell things that you know you're not going to use, and stuff that says be sold for a premium. Uh, otherwise, don't sell anything. Components-wise, um, I wouldn't make a big deal if you uh, sell anything that isn't upgrades, like the upgrades um, for the weapons and stuff. Don't sell these, because... Oh, actually, Scarlights, I don't probably don't need that many, so uh, I'll probably sell 20. But yeah, definitely do not sell any of these, especially your traps, because uh, they are not worth the selling price when they're worth 2 mil, uh, when you have to buy them for 2 mil. And uh, obviously, don't sell your Ultra Compacts or Particle Accelerators that you get throughout the game either. Um, we are going to buy these over the course of uh, this video as well, but I will be showing all my uh, buying stuff on screen and stuff like that. So your inventory at the end of it should look something like this. Uh, uh, all, th all the nugs to upgrade your stuff. You do need six traps, but I'll show you a way of getting uh, more in a bit. Uh, obviously, it's rare drops from Longwe and the Adamant choices. Uh, I only need one more, so that's okay. Dark Matters, you only need five. I shown you, I've done a video on how to farm Shao Longwe's. Unfortunately, the strat is kind of hard to do, but it's okay. These you can farm from uh, the Adamant Child or go to. Orphan's Cradle and find the sacrifices, so you don't have to buy these either. So the only nugs you'll have to buy is the uh, the Peveriskites, the Uranites, and uh, the Adamantites. The rest of them you can get from Diggs. Well, technically I think you can get these from Diggs as well, but they're rarer. And you can get these from Diggs as well. Um, unfortunately, the only thing you can't buy is the Adamant... The only thing you have to buy is the Adamantite, unfortunately. Uh, there are other things we're going to buy as well, and we're going to get straight to that right now. Uh, and the only accessory I'm going to sell here is the Growth Egg. 250k, and there's no point in leveling up and dismantling it, because it's not worth IMO. Alright, so I have like almost 8 million gil. That should be enough to get me through this entire video. So at this point, we're going to go to uh, our DD uh, We're going to have, let's say, 10. Let's get 10. Uh, Adamantites, we want 5, I believe, is the maximum we need. Uh, particle accelerators, we may need a couple more, so I'll buy an extra 10. Green needles, don't need. Uh, Lamora's Garage, we're gonna keep going in here a lot to restock on Superconductors, so let's get 9 of those, and Perfect Conductors. Let's stock up on those, they're the only things we need to buy from this shop. The Mother Load, let's uh, make sure we have a good 20, 20 Peverus Goats. Uh, Euro Knights, let's make sure we have a good 10 of them. Uh, let's get an extra 2. For safety, these let's get a let's let's get six of these. I don't think I'll need these, but let's get them anyway. And creature comforts. Uh, let's buy transparent ooze. We need nine nine of these. Diabolic tails. Uh, otherworldly bones. Vibrant oozes. And Sturdy Bones. These are the only items I'm going to be using for uh, upgrades. Because it's these take like the least amount to use to get to the times 3 bonus. These are what these are, are for to get your uh, times 3 bonus to use as little resources as possible. 
and I'm also going to go ahead and buy one of each weapon that I don't have. So, unfortunately, they're expensive as fuck, but it, you gotta do it for the achievements. So, let's buy one of these. 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 And one of these. And now be a good time to probably go through every single store and get every weapon and accessory that you can buy that you don't have, if that makes sense. So in here, I have at least one of each. In here, I don't have a titanium bangle for whatever reason, so let's fix that. Uh, scroll... I don't have a D-shell, resist D-shell, so let's fix that. And I don't have resist death, so let's fix that. You need one of each. Uh, technically, if you are struggling with money, uh, you can sell everything as long as you have one of each of all these items. Uh, bangles... Ideally, if you have, if you held one of uh, one of each of these, but you have like the upgraded version, because you should have an adamant adamant bangle at this point, you can go ahead and sell all your bangles as well. Uh, same goes with uh, the power wristbands and the magic wristbands, whatever. Um, as long as you have at least one of them at the highest rank, you can go ahead and sell like the worse of versions. Same with this, like I've got. I resist 10%, but the next version is this, so I can go ahead and sell this, if that makes sense. Uh, let's go to Magical Moments. I have at least one of each. Uh, Moogle Works. I don't have one of these. Let's fix that. And Sanctum Labs. I've got a dick ton of each. Cool. Happy. Happy days. So at this point, let's make a safety save. And let's start the upgrading process. So first off, before I start with the weapons, I just want to go ahead and show you uh, a quick way of getting a uh, trap. So these Genji Gloves, um, make sure you don't do this if you are going to continue playing the game, because obviously you only get three of these. Uh, but these, you can dismantle into a trap. So the best way to do that is uh, these charms. Let's uh, just use a perfect conductor. Let's get uh, one of each. You can upgrade these into a 20-sided dice, but you get one for free, so there's no point. Uh, so these dismantle into a ring. So you have plenty of shots to get in every single ring in the game. Uh, not that one. And finally, the lightning charm. So, again, you have plenty of shots to get in the... Uh, every single ring you need to. So, what do these turn into? Well, I keep saying the ring, but they also dismantle into... 10 chocobo plumes and 3 crystal alkalizers. And they are actually pretty good. I actually sold a couple crystal alkalizers off screen. Or I'm actually going to fast forward that actually. Because now what we're going to do is uh, accessory wise go to our Genji glove. We're going to those chocobo plumes. We're going to toss 15 on them. And we're going to toss. Uh, I think 10. No, 10's too many. 7. 7. You want to toss 7 to get this to the level you want it to. And then you get a maxed out Genji Glove. And then what you do with that is you dismantle it to get your... Uh... Okay, f I forgot. I forgot. Before you do anything, make sure you unequip everybody. Make sure you unequip everybody. Because you may have to sell these items or dismantle them. Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> Dismantle accessories. Judge gloves. And you get a free trap. 
Only do this if you know you if you know you need it, okay? Um, I'm just showing you that for uh, guide purposes, but yeah. Um, otherwise, I would keep these, especially if you do need to grind for more like gold nugs and plats and stuff like that. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get on the video. Let's uh, let's do this. So let's do let's categorize everything. And let's get on with it. So, first off, uh, these Chocobo plumes I might as well just get rid of. So, let's, um, they're just going to get in my way, um, menuing wise. So, uh, that, and you look like you're not going to use that many. So, let's. Hmm. Let's go with. I mean, Crystal Alkalizers, I'm not worried about. So, let's do that. Uh, Pepper Sky, made a Flameberg, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Axis Blade. Once again, we're gonna get the times free bonus to make our lives easier. And now you look like you're gonna use a bit of my uh, stuff, so we're gonna go four, five, four. Yep, four, four is perfect. Cool, cool, cool. You take an adamantite, unfortunately. Uh, actually, at this point, I'm actually just, I'm just gonna make uh, this her ultimate weapon. So let's um, let's get the times three bonus, and we're just gonna throw. She should it should take only two ultra compacts, but I feel like it's gonna take three just from the looks of things. Let's try to. Yeah, not even, not even close. <laughs> Fuck. Not even, not even close. All right, let's get the times three bonus again. Uh, and let's toss. Uh... Fuck. You're gonna take a dick ton of ultra compacts, aren't you? There you go. So you take four? Holy shit. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe use the cheapest one to get your ultimate Omega weapon. But oh well. It's fine. <laughs> it, it's fine. Uh, sometimes it'll be that way, man. Uh, so use phase six study bonus to get the times free. Uh, you look like you're gonna use a few of my particle accelerators, so let's use... You shouldn't have to use five, so four should be fine. Okay, I lied. Maybe you do. Holy shit, dude! Can this game not be a dick? <laughs> uh, let's do... Your god. I'm gonna have to toss more particle accelerators on this just to make sure. Uh, okay, peacemaker. So okay, I've I've already fucked up already technically because I I've been I'm using more uh, resources than I need to, but it's okay. It's all it's all about the fun, right? It's all about having fun. Uh, seven. Can I please get the times three? Times three, hello, thank you. <laughs> times three, hello. He's, you, you about? Uh, you look like you're not going to take too many. So superconductor wise, let's toss eighty. Yep, looks good to me. Pepper sky. So yeah, you can sort of tell by the amount of XP it requires by how much they need, so 800, you're gonna uh, take a few, unfortunately. Uh, so let's do seven trick bow tails. Uh, study bones, might as well just use them up. Times three. You look like you're gonna use a few of my particle accelerators. Not that many, not that many. <laughs> uh, say five? Maybe I could have got away with four there, but I was make I'm just making sure. Uh, Hatch Clear. Again, this is going to take a few particle accelerators, probably. Uh, Otherworldly Bone, you can get away with using 24 to get the times free here. 
Um, I could use perfect conductors and just use like 20 of them if you don't have enough money for particle accelerators. So do that. Whatever suits you. If you if you run out of cash, use uh, perfect conductors, stuff like that. I'm sort of just uh, going with the flow here, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to ca categorize my stuff, so um, I just need to do these two now. Organ X, so once again, use 24 for the times three. You look like you're not going to take that much, so let's... Uh, nine? Yeah, nine. Yeah, you, yeah that, that looked like you wasn't going to take much whatsoever, so that's cool. I appreciate that game. Uh, Lionheart. So, 24 again. You look like you may take a few, so let's... 25? Go 24. Wow, dude! Okay. Alright, game. You piece of shit. Just, just take it. Just take it, man. Just fucking eat my ass. <laughs> Uh, I have cash, fuck it. I just want the star, dude. I just want the star. <laughs> the ultimate weapon, alright. So at this point, I can go ahead and sell everything for light. That's the first time that now looting happened. And at this point, I'm just gonna restock on, uh... Uh, well then I gonna stock on Sturdy Bones. Basically all my stuff I used, so... Sturdy Bones, Fiber News... Uh, otherworldly bows. I think that's all they use, to be honest. The chocobo plumes and stuff like that, I can't buy. So, I was just using them to get rid of, uh, space, pretty much. Level load's fine. Lenora's garage. Let's use... Let's buy... Superconductors. Perfect conductors. Uh, R&D depot. Um... Pretty sure I don't need to buy any more. I think I've risked. I'm gonna buy four more here, and buy two more of these just to have a round number. But I probably didn't need to do that, but we'll see. I'm gonna make a safety save. I probably don't have to overwrite that, but that's okay. Alright, so the upgrades to Saz now. Saz, okay. Uh, you look like you're not going to take that many stuff, so let's, um... Sturdy Bones. I'm probably just going to throw a bunch of superconductors, since it takes less. Uh, let's say... 16? Yep. Ever Sky. So at this point, I could probably turn this into his ultimate weapon, just to ha make sure, probably, because it, it takes the least amount of points. So I'm, I'm actually going to do that, just to, just to make sure, you know. So, level increase, uh, that increase, this shit. Yeah, you see that? it he's ta It's using a lot. So, I feel like using... You see, I don't think one is enough here. I don't think one is enough. No, not even close. But it still has the times two, so maybe if I do two more here? Hold on, hold on. Sturdy bones, if I use 12, it'll get times three again. And then if I use another one... Wow, still not enough! Ah! <laughs> Alright, this should... this should work, right? <laughs> okay, so... Again, maybe not the correct... Wow, are you serious? <laughs> are you having a laugh? Just fucking... <laughs> wow, I really don't know my shit, apparently, when it comes to XP-wise. Alright, we've sorted out his ultimate weapon, dude! <laughs> that took uh, a lot more than I thought it would, to be honest. It looked like... It did. It definitely looked like it didn't require much, but apparently it took three ultra-compacts, which is kind of dumb. 
Uh, anyway, uh, you look like you're gonna eat six of my particle accelerators, or maybe five. You take a Skylight. Uh, Regals, you look like you're gonna take... 24, to get a times three, you look like you're gonna eat, like... 15, 16 perfect conductors. And then some? Are you kidding me? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it'd be that way, man. Sometimes it'd be that way. Oh my god. Please. Oh, it has to go to 26, doesn't it? You piece of shit. Ah! There we go. Okay, so I'm not doing a great job with uh, resource management, but maybe you guys watching this, you can actually learn from my mistakes. But I have plenty of money, so I'm not worried. Uh, you look like you're not going to take that much, so I'm just going to throw a bunch of superconductors on you. Uh, take that much. Oh, it'd be nice to actually upgrade it, wouldn't it? Have this guy. Uh, out of brands. You look like you're not gonna take much at all here, actually. So I'm just probably gonna superconduct you. Yeah, cool, perfect. Sandal milks. Uh, Entrance Deluxe. Uh, let's just get these out of the way. 1.5. 1.5. Okay, cool. Time's free. How much do you reckon this is gonna take? Probably... 18. No, I think 20. Sometimes doing a bit overkill is actually worth. Uh, so Diabolic Tail, let's uh, for the six. You look like you're not gonna take that many, so let's toss uh, sixteen for sh for safety. Wow, really? Alright, so I was like, what off there, so I'm not too wor too mad about that. Plus, I was using superconductors, so superconductors aren't that useful. Uh, they're not that expensive, I was supposed to say. Get the times free, you look like you're gonna eat six of my, uh, or five of my particle accelerators. You, you require dark matter, unfortunately. And that is the first two people. So we've we've got ultimate weapons for Saz, we've got ultimate weapon for light, and tier two weapons for everybody uh, for the light and Saz. So at this point, you can go ahead and sell those weapons if you want. Uh, all I'm doing is I'm just gonna go back and um, make sure I have 99 of all the items I'm using. Sturdy Bones, Vibrant Ooze I still haven't been using, Transparent Ooze I still haven't been using, Diabolic Tail, Otherworldly Bone, and uh, I think we're good. R&D Depot for any of these if I need to, but I feel like I'm okay. Alright, so let's make another save just for safety, I guess. And let's get back to upgrading. Okay, so weapon-wise, let's go to the Wild Bear! Okay, so... Um, again, Stony Bone is always 36 for, like, times three. And then you look like you're not gonna take that many, so I'm gonna use Superconductor here. Use 16 of them. Get the star level. 
Then I go up on your Peveris guide, so it only takes one. Uh, I can probably go ahead and make this his ultimate weapon, to be honest. Uh, so let's make that his ultimate weapon, I guess. I'm probably just going to go ahead and toss three... I'm probably just going to go ahead and toss three Ultra Compacts on it just to make sure. Wow, are you serious? <laughs> wow. So, I probably need to do five here. How much does it take? <laughs> okay, alright, we did it. <laughs> Save the queen. Okay, so I'm definitely I'm definitely not hitting the ballpark for the uh, ultimate weapons here, but that's okay. I'm not I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried. Uh, you look like you're gonna eat free of my particle accelerators, I believe. Yeah, and then some. What the fuck? Uh, sometimes it be that way, man. Uh, power circle. This I know the power circle is going to eat a dick ton of power accelerators as well. Unfortunately, sometimes it be that way. Times three. I'm just going to go ahead and toss like six of these on. Just wow! And even then, it wasn't enough. Are you shitting me? Wow, that is wild. That's actually wild. Uh, sometimes it'd be that way. Uh, Rebel Heart. Uh, you look like you're gonna take some perfect conductors. Uh, so let's toss... 16? Yes. Perfect. Uh, Uranite. Um, Faymark. You look like you want perfect conductors as well. Let's do 15 again. Here and I. Uh, sacrificial circle. You look like you're gonna eat all my particle accelerators. Are actually going to take all my particle accelerators. That's so annoying. <laughs> uh, you're going to take a dick to my perfect conductors as well. Let's just make sure you get finished off. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that's that's actually wild. Uh, unsetting Sun. You look like you're not going to take that much, so that's good. I appreciate that game. Vibrant Ooze. Uh, Superconductor. Let's toss... 16. Not quite. Need an extra one. That's okay. Instead, I have to use three there. Uh, Umbra, you look like you're gonna use a dick ton of my perfect conductors. Vibrant Ooze, phase 6 Vibrant Ooze times 3, perfect conductor. Uh... That sounds reasonable, right? I'd be very surprised if that was like, nope. You require an Adamantite. So that's snow complete now. Um, I'm probably just gonna... Snow took up a lot of my resources, especially my particle accelerators. So now would be a good time to uh, just restock. Uh, so let's get 
20 more. Five uh, ultra compacts, let's get six more. Uh, Lenora's Garage. I haven't even been using the oo uh, the transparent ooze or diabolic tail or vibrant ooze for that matter. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, now we're on to the little boy. Uh, let's do that. The little boy. Don't just hope. The whiny, annoying piece of shit. Uh, you look like you're gonna take a few superconductors, such as... Probably 20? 20, 21 for safety? And you take a uranite. And you look like you're gonna eat up at least three of my ultra compacts, so... Maybe, maybe not use this, uh... Maybe not use that one in particular. Bone. Then I'm gonna use like 21. Uh, probably don't need that much, no way. 17? Yeah. You want a pepper sky? Egoton. Uh, Narenta. Bones. You do not look like you want to use that many superconductors, which is nice. So let's say 16 for safety. Wow. Okay, that wasn't enough. That's okay. Cover escape. Uh, this dude. This one looks like he wants to go through a lot of my stuff, unfortunately. And uh, let's see. Particle accelerator. That that'll do it, right? <laughs> yeah, it will. Um that might be a little bit overkill, but I just wanted to make sure. Um I feel like you're gonna burn through my ultra compacts, but I want I feel like I want you to be my uh, ultimate weapon for some reason. I just have a vibe from it. So if I do two, or, is it, or should I just do three for safety? Let's do three for safety, fuck it. There we are. Throw a trap on there. There we go. You got an ultimate weapon. This one. Get the times three bonus. Uh, perfect conduct. Let's do like 31. Uh, Smirkberg of Divinity. So close to times three, so you shouldn't have to use that many oozes. Yep, didn't think so. Uh, perfect conductor, let's use 19. Yeah. You're a nine. Uh, Alicanto. I don't know if I said that right, probably not. Times three. Uh, you look like you want to use like. Twenty-one. Hmm. I probably could have used a little bit less, but that's fine. Uh, you look like you're not going to use that many at all, which is nice. 
I'll just uh, superconduct that. So let's do 15 for safety. Wow. Okay, now I gotta actually do some math here. That should get to net 25, and so let's do let's do five. Wow, really? I was one off. <laughs> I was one goddamn off. Okay, so binding rod for Vanille. Vanille looks like she's not gonna be using that much for this one, which is nice. Six diabolic tails. Uh, superconductor. Could probably get away with. 15. Yeah. Pepper Sky. Uh, again, this is not going to use that many at all either, which is nice. Due to the EXP. get away with that. Or not. Kill the light. Um, power wing fan, uh, stuff. Oh, I've already got the times three bonus. Perfect. Uh, perfect conductor. How many do I think I need? Thirteen. Uh, Perfect. Cover sky. Uh, healer staff. You're gonna use a dick ton of shit. Fuck. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be that way, man. Uh, virus transfer news, I think I only need to use 24, I think. Yep, 24 is correct. And you look like you're going to use a few of my accelerators, unfortunately. Let's do 6 for safety. I feel like 5 is not going to be enough there, unfortunately. Adamanti. Uh, Rod of Thorns, you look like you're not going to use that much, which is nice. Uh, I might do this actually, 15, just get the times 2, and then I use a little bit of the Vibrant Ooze. There we go. Uh, Perfect Conductor, you probably, I'm probably going to have to use all of this, aren't I? It's probably easier to use a particle accelerator, to be honest. That's still too little, isn't it? Using two. That's too much. Ah, eh, fuck it. Let's just get out of the way. Have a sky. You look like you're gonna eat up a lot of my shit, you piece of shit. <laughs> Sometimes it'll be that way. Probably need to do some shopping, actually. Yeah, but let's do some shopping before I uh, deal with Vanilla's ultimate weapon. So, particle accelerator, let's get eight. Don't think I need to worry about ultra compact. Uh, superconductors. Perfect conductors. Uses Die Bog Tail, uh, restock on the transparent oozes, otherworldly bones, of course, and I think that's everything. Let's get back to the show. 
Let's make a save. And let's get back straight to it. So we're going to deal with uh, Vanille's ultimate weapon now. The Bell Under One! It's the best weapon for a reason. So let's uh, get the times free. And uh, look like you want to take a few perfect conductors. So let's do 17 for safety. Uh, actually, 18. Just for safety. I'll borrow a wand. Let's uh, get the times three bonus. And I'm just gonna throw two ultra compacts on that. Bang! Easy, easy, easy for a trap on you. you I have a ultimate weapon for vanille. Awesome. Heavily access. Uh, let's do this times two. Uh, seven. There we go, times three, perfect, perfect, that's what I was looking for. Perfect conductor. It's toss 50. Not close enough! Not even, not even, uh, that's not even close. <laughs> well, shit. I guess I'm just gonna have to toss, like, an extra 16 on there for the star. That was my B. You're a knight. And now, finally, we're on to Fang. Fang's ultimate weapons. Uh, fortunately, this does look like it's not going to take long at all to get to Tiff 2. So, times 3, Superconductor, let's toss uh, 17 on there for safety. It's probably a lot less than that, but it's fine. Ever Sky. Uh, Dragoon Lance. Get this to uh, 24. This is probably her best weapon, the Stifled Magic here. So I might just make this her ultimate weapon. Uh, I probably want to use Perfect Conductors here. Let's use 19. Uh, Uranite. Looks like I have to buy more Uranite. Uh. Let, yeah, let's make this our ultimate weapon, just for safe, for lols, I guess. Times three. It's probably going to eat up uh, my ultra compact reactors, though. I'll do three for safety. There we go, that's all the ultimate weapons in the game. No need to worry about ultimate weapons anymore. I just have to worry about getting them to tier twos now. Otherworldly Bone. Vibrant Ooze, let's just throw like 9 on there. Times 3. Uh, you look like you're gonna need at least perfect conductors. Let's use 18. Nice, perfect. I need to buy some more Uranites. Uh, let's buy. Five for safety. I probably didn't need that much, but just for safety. Uh, Partisan, you look like you're not going to use that many, thankfully. So I'll use a few superconductors on you, so let's just toss. 21. Have risk guy. Uh, Punisher, you look like you're gonna use a tick dick ton, unfortunately. Get the times free. And I'm just gonna toss like four parkour accelerators on you. Fuck! <laughs> Sometimes it be that way, man. Uh, let's toss another three on you just to make sure. That might be a bit overkill, but I wasn't going to take the risk that time. Uh, Pandorian Spear, you look like you're going to use a dick ton as well, that's unfortunate. I only have three particle accelerators, so I'm just going to fucking ultra compact that shit, just because I have one. Scarlight. 
G block. Once again, I'm just gonna fucking ultra compact that shit. Gunger. And you can take my last particle accelerators. Uh, so let's just get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. And that's the most tedious part of the achievement done. I've done all the um, weapons. I've maxed out all my weapons now. So, at this point, I could probably sell them all for safety. Because uh, accessories definitely do not take as long. Let's just make a save real quick. Alright, let's talk about accessories now. So, accessories, we should have almost all of them anyway. Because you can simply just buy them from here, and then level them up. So, as I said earlier, make sure you have at least one of everything. Uh, you can go ahead and sell du duplicates if you need money. Okay. Uh, so, I've done I've done this. I've got at least one of everything. Rah, rah, rah. So, now, um, we are gonna go ahead and still buy um, Sturdy Bones. Vibrant uses just for like the times free bonus, especially on the stuff that does take a while to level up. So I'm thinking more of the adamant bangle, the power glove, and stuff like that. And we are gonna have to buy a couple of more ultra compact reactors, unfortunately. Uh, so perfect conductor, let's get nine ilo superconductors. I don't feel like we need as many anymore. But uh, we'll buy, we'll just have 99 anyway, just because I have cash. Uh, ultra compact, let's buy 10, so I'm down to my last 500,000 gil. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to buy a couple more adamantites, because uh, some of them do require adamantites. So let's just buy two for safety. So I'm down to my last 150,000 gil, so if I do need to sell things, I'll just sell some of my uh, accessories. All right, so let's uh, let's try and do this in order, I guess. So accessories, let's categorize everything. So your bangles, you shouldn't have to worry about them except just leveling up the adamant bangle because you get an adamant bangle for, for free during hunts, or I think you get it in the Tarjan's Tower actually somewhere. But this is the second best bangle, and you, all you have to do is level this up once. Uh, the rest of them you get by hunts or just just chests, especially the platinum bangles. You get those from hunts and chests, and you get a dick ton of platinum bangles. Apparently, I have six of them, five of them, six. Of them. I can't tell. Um, so yeah, all I had to buy was the mithril bangle because apparently you miss you don't get a mithril bangle for the entirety of the game. Weird. So you can go ahead and sell all the bangles and just have admin bangle. Uh, same with the, uh, pa the your strength items. All you have to do, you get a free power glove in Eden, and it's not missable because it's in the last area, and you can go back there and fight all the sacrifices and stuff. And uh, the magician stuff. Uh, this is the best, second best version. I just need to upgrade this one time to get the best version. Um. The rest of them you get during the game, or you can simply buy uh, the the hundred fifty and twenty plus, and then it. I'm pretty sure you get this from a hunt, but if you somehow missed it or sold it, just up you can buy these and just upgrade it. Uh, okay, okay, let's let's just let's just get on the show, shall we? So let's 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 go buy let's go bangles first. So. I've got every bangle here except the upgraded version, and unfortunately this does take a while to upgrade, so I, that's why I bought ultra compact reactors. So let's get the times uh, free bonus, and this is going to require four ultra compact reactors to get the star, and then we're going to use a dark matter on that to get the word style bangle 
And now we don't have to worry about bangles anymore. We got all the bangles. Uh, next, we're going to go to our power glove. Uh, I feel like this is going to take up a few of my ultra compacts as well. I don't have uh, four. Uh, I have six. But I feel like um, it's going to take the same amount as the bangles. Let's see how many free does. Okay, free's enough. Free's enough. That's fine. And you also require dark matter. So that's how you get your Kaiser Knuckles. Uh, weird weirding Glyph. Uh, let's get the times three bonus. Let's get the Ultra Compact, I guess. Might as well just use it up. You also require Dark Matter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so then, General's Belt and Black Belt, so you can buy both of these, I believe. Um, so, all you gotta do is upgrade the General's Belt. I don't know exactly how much this requires. I don't think it should require too much. But just in case, let's get the times free bonus, as always. And we're gonna toss a uh, few should take like 10 perfect conductors, I feel. Wow, not even close, okay. I don't know what the level it goes to either, so I'm sort of like hit or miss here. I feel like it shouldn't take, probably less, less for safety, let's do like 10 more, yeah, 10 more, 14 more. I just want it maxed out, man. It was probably like one level off, apparently. <laughs> anyway, you take an adamant time. Champion's belt. There we go. We're done with the belts now. Uh, the room bracelet. Um, oh, and you get the witch's bracelet as well. I'm pretty sure. Let me hold. Hold up. Hold up. Let me. Let me just double check. I do have a uh, guide here. Um, so the crest's done. Uh, the Mage's Brace? Rune, Witch. So, I need to level up the Witches into a Mage's Brace? Okay. So, let's do that. Oh, not shop, not shop! <laughs> Accessories? Uh, so, Witch's Bracelet, let's uh, get the times 3 bonus, of course. And I feel like you're going to take uh, as much as the General Belt took, so let's... Uh... 17 should do, right? Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take an Adamantine as well. Okay. Uh, next is the Royal and Imperial Omelette. So apparently you get four of these throughout the game. Uh, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> and you also get a drop uh, from a boss with the Imperial Omelette as well. Um, so that's cool. You get that. You get the Imperial Omelette from one of the hunts during Titan's Trials. So this is now complete. Uh, so now we're going to the ring. So we have four ember rings, four of them. So we don't have to worry about the tier one ones. And we get four blaze rings as well. I don't know why the game gives me so many, but this obviously levels up into something more as well. So at this point, let's get the... I, to be honest, I don't think the tier, uh, the times four actually matters here. But just in case it does, let's just get it. And I feel like uh, for, for in 11 here should do. Yep, there we go. And you take a year of night. I feel like I'm going to have to buy more year of nights because all the rings are going to need year of night. So let's do that. And I might as well buy more um, ultra compact reactors while I do so. I'm out of money, so now would be a good time to sell 
all these platinum bangles. I might just keep one, just just to look cool, I guess. That's the first time you see me sell weapon or accessory, by the way. So, you need like over 10 million gil for this, I guess, from what I can tell. So, we got a salamandrine ring. We got a free. We got three frost rings, but we didn't get any f version of an upgraded version. So I'm gonna have to upgrade this twice. So a frost ring. Uh, let's get the times three bonus. Not that it matters. Oh, <laughs> not that it matters. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, let's try that again. I doubt it's gonna need many, many of these. Let's do like five. Yeah. Okay, urinate. So now we we are done with the ice ring. Uh, the spark ring, we get four spark rings through the game. I mean, I know one of each ring I have is due to the charms, but still. And we also get at least two of the fullman rings as well at some point during the game, through either by hunts or boss drops. So all we gotta do is uh, just level these up. And uh, let's... I feel like... F I feel like four should be enough, shouldn't it? I feel like... F I feel like that's overkill, but who cares? <laughs> You're a nice. So we're now done with the lightning ring. Uh, we get three aqua rings during the game. I know one of them is from a charm. And we get one riptide ring, which is the upgraded version throughout the game at some point. I think this one of the bosses through the storyline, if I remember correctly. Let's just get rid of this, get the times two. Yeah, times two. I don't think times three is necessary anymore, so let's just do this. Yeah. Your name. There we go. Water rings complete. Uh, wind ring. We get two wind rings at some point, and we get three gale rings at some point. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Don't have to worry about resist wind, I guess. Again, I don't think the times three is necessary anymore. Perfect conductor. Gear night. And then finally, we have the clay ring, so you get uh, t at least two for free, one's from a charm, and then you get a still stone ring from a hunt at some point. Uh, let's just use six, six of these. <laughs> fuck, fuck the times three bonus, I guess. And there we go, we get the third tier of the earth ring. And now here comes the annoying part, so make sure you have a lot of Peveriskites at this point. So I'm gonna have to buy more. I don't know how much they sell for either. Probably a lot. Peveriskites cost uh, 30k, uh, 30k per one. So, I've got 10, this should be enough, but let's just buy an extra two, I guess, because I had spare money. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So, resist D-Brave, okay. Should be one. No. How many, how many perfect conductors did it take? Probably three. Oh. Not that many! Not that many! Wow, it takes five? Okay, okay, so it takes like five, right? So it takes like five perfect inductors without the times three. So there we go, resist brave. 
I think I only upgrades one time, so just get it one time. So let's just do five, just to speed it up. Pepper Sky, so deep, resist the brave. I got a dick ton of uh, deep protects, apparently. Resist the shell. Uh, resist slow. Apparently, you get at least three of these throughout the game. They all want Peveriskites. Uh, resist poison. Probably gonna have to buy some more perfect conductors because we're still not done. Resistant pearl. So yeah, unfortunately these all they they all take pretty much the exact same stuff. But you have to do it on every single thing. It's quite obnoxious actually. Uh, that was fog, great, right? yep, so we want days now. I feel like I'm going to have to buy more Peveriskites still. Resist death. Because now we still got critical protect. I mean, we do get one auto protect for free, so don't have to worry about that. We get auto shell for free as well. Uh, we don't get auto brave or Veil, and I'm pretty sure these all take Peveriskites as well. Uh, we're still not done. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be that way. Uh, not components. Accessories. Let's do, let's do that. I don't need that shit anymore. Well, sell some good money. Get rid of one of these end time rings. Like this cow, I well, don't need. I need to keep one of them. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, Pepper's Guide, let's just do 10. Oh god. <laughs> uh, sucky. Very sucky. Alright, so let's just sell. Uh, Hope's garbage, I guess. Okay, I'll just make sure I have money at this point. So yeah, you need like over 10 million gil to actually do all of this shit that I'm doing. And this is definitely not optimal either. Like, I fucked up here and there, but it isn't... I haven't fucked up to a degree where I haven't I missed out on my achievement, so I'm not worried too much. So auto shell we've got. Uh, we need auto veil, so let's do five this. You take a pevro. Um auto veil auto brave. Auto Faith. I, oh, wait, I think I have an Auto Faith actually. I do indeed. You get one for free at some point. Uh, auto Vigilance. Definitely do not have. Um, auto Bar stuff I definitely don't get, so let's fix that. You take Pedro Skites too. 
there's one for each element, so we're going to be here for a little bit. one for wind and earth? Uh, I guess not, because you can't cast earth or wind. But yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Not earth, but wind you can. That That's very surprising to me for some reason. Uh, that's fine. Uh, whistle wind scarf. Uh, you just take one perfect conductor, don't you? You take one of these. For strike. That's all that requires. Uh, Nimble Toe. I don't think this turns into anything. Could be wrong. Just improved invasion. Okay. Uh, survivor's catalog. No, we want to look at the collector's catalog though. Because that, if you use this. Get the kind of sword catalog. Um, let me just make sure. Okay, so the last one, the last accessory that we don't have is a super ribbon. I've actually got a ribbon already, and you get a ribbon in two ways. So you can um, upgrade this. You can upgrade this Goddess Favor to a star, and then you dismantle it. Uh, you get this Goddess Favor by defeating Bartandalus the second time, I believe, so you do get it throughout the story. And this is how you get a Scarlight Perfume and a Ribbon, so that's one way of getting your Ribbon. And the second way is a Chocobo uh, from picking up a ribbon from a treasure dig and you're guaranteed a treasure dig ribbon um, on your 10th or 11th dig and there's an achievement for that so you probably already have a ribbon anyway so now all we're gonna do is level that shit up so uh, this does take a lot unfortunately so let's just Let's just uh, get the times three bonus, and we're just gonna use all my perfect conductors. I I'm pretty sure it should take this much, but let's just do it. And you require dark matter. So at this point, we should have all of the weapons and accessories. But you're probably wondering, where's my achievement? Unfortunately, um, I didn't talk about these, but you get these from, uh, hunts and stuff like that. Doctor's Codes you get throughout the game. And, uh, speaking of Doctor's Codes, um, they're actually quite useful. Um, you probably don't work, don't care about it now, but, um, if you, uh, upgrade to Star, then dismantle it, you get every... Every uh, shroud except Deceptisol and an elixir, so it's very, very useful. Uh, and you're probably wondering, I haven't talked about like anti ring, even though you can buy those. Uh, I didn't talk about the sashes. I didn't talk about this, but you get these. I'm pretty sure you get each of these from hunts, and I don't know exactly which hunts, so I can't tell you unfortunately. Um, but you sh should have these from hunts because I did not sell anything I did not buy anything from hunts or treasure chests throughout the game okay um, I can't remember exactly which one because there's so much information in this game but I'm trying to but there we go we got every single thing in the game so where's our achievement where is it well unfortunately the game likes to be a dick and you have to talk to the little robot dude back in Airbur, so let's go back there. 
you're not going to see my achievement pop up on screen. Because um, I'm playing on PC and my OBS is only tracking, uh, recording the screen on my, uh, uh, only recording the game. You might hear it pop, but you won't see it pop, if that makes sense. Oh my god. I do not want to fight. <laughs> I do not want to fight, dude. I have to sep me. I'm not even set up to fight either. <laughs> I'm just here for the tr achievement, man. So, if you follow everything correctly, you should get it here. You accomplish the treasure hunter as two. There we go, achievement unlocked. You might not see it on my screen, but it definitely popped and you heard it. We got it, we got all the achievements in the game. Thanks for watching everyone. It was a bull lake to make, especially with all these menus, but uh, hopefully it was good to follow and I'll catch you soon, hopefully.